Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Okay, today we're reviewing the Nikon FM10. Now, this review is special for two reasons. One, this is actually the camera Danny used when she was a teenager, so that's amazing. The second reason this is a really important and special shoot for me is Danny and I just recently got married and during the craziness of travel, we weren't able to organize a proper bridal shoot, so I figured, hey, as soon after the wedding as possible, let's go ahead and do a bridal shoot so I can capture Danny, how she looks right now, in the dress, and have these memories forever. So besides the two reasons that today's shoot is very important is to reiterate the fact that you don't need an expensive camera body to take amazing photos. In my last few videos, I've been shooting a lot of Nikon SLR bodies to try to really highlight the fact of that because it really is all about light, lens, and film stock. You don't need to spend a ton of money on a body. Spend as much as you can on film so you get tons of reps and have good glass to give you the best opportunity to capture a sharp, clear, contrast the image. Get all that out of the way and then really work on seeing compositions, seeing that light. So today we're at Lake Norman in Western North Carolina and we're just going to walk around, grab these shots. I'm going to start with black and white film. I've expressed concerns about moving to a new area with dramatically different light. A lot of cloud cover, a lot of trees, a lot of shade as you can see I'm in now. So to mitigate all the concerns I have with the color in this area, I'm gonna start out with black and white film, specifically Ilford FP4. I'm gonna meter it at 50 and I'm gonna develop it at ISO 125 in Ilford DDX. And then as the sun starts to set, I'm gonna switch over to Lomo 400 and expose that at 200. All right, so let's walk around. Let's grab some of these lifelong memories. Hope I don't mess up. Okay, so I'm gonna backlight her. I'll overexpose by about two stops to make sure she isn't completely in shadow. But the goal is gonna be to hide the sun behind her head. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna walk away from the beach up into the shadowy area. And remember, I'm only shooting at 50 ISO. So what we're gonna do is find little spots of light in these woods and try to put Danny in that and get a shot. So we found a little sunny spot. I think we're gonna have Danny in a silhouette here facing out towards the water, holding the flowers down so we can illuminate that she is holding flowers. All right, let's give it a shot. So this should be a really cool shot because the background is all dark. We're gonna put Danny just in the light. I'm gonna expose for the bright light and then all of the darks should fall off. So it should make a cool effect, especially in black and white. All right. All right let's step you out into the path. Yeah, just like that. One, two. Okay, so she is basically rim lit, as you can see right here. I'm gonna try to grab 
her face overexposed two stops and highlight this. And then I'm gonna do another one at normal exposure just to test this out. I'm not used to this film. Black and white is not my jam, but I do wanna try it out. So Nanny, here we go. So I'm about 27 exposures into this roll. I'm kind of getting a feel for not only the lens that I'm using, I'm using a 50 Zeiss Planar F1.4 lens. So it's very tight crops. I do have a 35 Disagon in my bag, but I'd rather keep it a little more telephoto than wide, just for the compression, kind of like blur out these trees in the background a few notes about the camera. One, this is not truly a Nikon. It's made by Cosina, and I think it always has been. Also, also there's a really loud airplane coming. We'll let that go by real quick. It's like I'm back shooting in Tempe, Arizona when I used to shoot at Evelyn Holman Park all the time. All right, it's passed. A couple of things about the Nikon FM10. One, it has an exposure button right here where you can actually check the exposure, hold it down, it'll show you the plus or minus. If your uh, zero is perfect exposure, a zero plus, you're a little over, a plus, you're over, a zero minus, you're a little under, a minus, you're under. So you can, without having to half press the shutter and inadvertently fire the shutter, which I've done multiple times today, you can just press this and adjust your aperture ring and your shutter speed, and that'll get you where you need to be from a metering perspective. Also, it's two thousandth of a second shutter speed, which is really amazing because for a lower end camera, especially a lower end Nikon SLR, usually they have about a one thousandth of a second shutter speed. And this guy has a two thousandth of a second shutter speed, which is really nice, especially in light like I have today. Thankfully, this is a slower speed film, FP4, it's set at 50 ISO. Like I said, I'll develop it at 125 ISO and over DDX just like the FE2 and the FM, you have to pull the film advance lever out to turn the meter on. But remember, this is a mechanical camera, so if the batteries die, of course the meter goes with it, but you can still meter with your phone or a handheld meter and continue to shoot. This is a really small camera, which I really love. It's so easy to run, especially with this little 50 on it. If you take the lens hood off, that is a pretty small package of high quality glass. And remember, it's a cheap camera body, but I'm investing in glass and film and time behind the camera firing that shutter. That's how you're gonna get better, not having the best camera body. You don't need to buy a $1,500 Leica M, a $3,000 M6. This FM10 will work. I'm enjoying shooting it. It's pretty easy to focus. Here are these cicadas around me. Man, being back in the South, it's, it's wild. So let's shoot the rest of this roll cool off in the car in the AC and hopefully grab some color film shots of sunset because light's going fast. I'd say we have about 30 minutes before sunset. All right, guys, let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna do a close up. We switched over to color film. Okay, so we tried to shoot on a pier. I switched over to color film as we planned. But you know, when you're in a park, there's gonna be lots of people. The pier is completely packed. We did some isolated shots, the close-up of the flowers that you saw, and then one with the leading lines of the railing. So we're gonna to go to a boat dock and hopefully it'll be less packed and we'll be able to grab some shots. I'm loving how light this camera is. It's super portable. And as I said earlier, with a smaller lens, it's really practical. And one thing that's great is I'm, I'm just slapping it down on the ground. And when you have a camera that only costs $75, you're less concerned if you drop it. But, but this is a really important camera. This is Danny's camera when she was a teenager, so I don't want to break it. But we were honestly surprised that it still worked. Yeah, I didn't even know it would work. Right, and remember I said you got to pull the lever out for it to turn on and she thought it didn't work at all because of that. 
so one little thing can stop you from shooting. Okay, we're on the way to the new spot. Now, I think the light's gonna be really beautiful, really golden, and it's gonna just look amazing on the slow-mo 400. So let's get after it. Other photographers out here doing the same thing we're doing. Nice little bridal shoot maybe, who knows? Okay, when you're in a public place, spots are gonna be in limited supply. We walked to the other dock and there was actually a wedding going on over there. So now we're just gonna try to catch the last few minutes of light. The sun is falling right behind the trees. So we'll grab these last shots and that'll be a wrap. Okay, so the shoot is done. I absolutely love running this camera. It's just so easy to run if you don't inadvertently fire off shots. Burn through a roll really fast. I don't know how the black and white's gonna look, but we'll see. What do you think? Good? I, I think they'll be great. Yeah, I'm pumped. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video.